How's it going, everyone? I'm Chris from Denson Studios. I am a music producer, and I am also just an all-around uh, engineering kind of guy when it comes to live streaming, audio production, music production, etc., etc. You can catch me over at Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Chris Cross underscore plays, uh, where I can answer any questions you may have about the audio world, music production, uh, sound design, etc., etc. Now that we got all that obligatory shit out of the way. So, if you're clicked on this, you probably are wondering how you can make your phone a webcam. Now, I understand a lot of people want to get into streaming. And a lot of them also want to have, you know, face cam most of the time. If you don't, good for you. I'm, I'm, I wasn't one of those people. Uh, I always wanted to have a, a webcam. So... The best webcam right now, if you can get your hands on it, is the C920. At least that's the like overall cheapest one that's like the best on the market right now. But here's something that you didn't know. Did you know that some of the newer phones uh, that are out right now, and let's say from the past few years, let's say five years. Let's just say as a general term, five years. Did you know that you can turn one of these into your webcam? If you didn't know that, I'm currently using an iPhone 12 right now, uh, the 12 Plus or whatever it is. I'm not an iPhone guy. We bought this for a completely different purpose. Um, I'm an Android guy, um, but it does work. This is my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and it works on this. And all it is is an app. Now, here's the thing. You can use it for free, but you'll have this little thing like you see right here. It's a little bitty watermark. If that doesn't bother you, it's free. If that does bother you, it's like $10. I think it's $10. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's $10 for the pro version, which gives you a lot more options. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. Like I said, if you don't mind the little watermark, that's totally fine. It's free at that point. The only other things you would need is, of course, something to set your phone up on. I'm using my uh, Zion or June smooth Q uh, gimbal uh, as a stand you can also use any kind of phone stand you want to use as long as it's not obstructing your camera view because you what defeats the purpose if you can't see what you're wanting to see so what we're going to do is i'm going to walk you through super simply on how to set all this up on your phone and now i'm going to be using my android to record all my screen stuff for my phone um, but you can still go into your Apple store or anything like that, your Google store and all that stuff to find what you need. And we're going to start that right now. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to pull up your app store, whether that be with the Apple app store or the uh, Android app store. Doesn't really matter. Whatever your phone is, go to the app store. What you're going to want to do is you're going to look up Droid Cam OBS. Now, here's the thing. You're going to see, as you can see on my screen, I already have it installed. So it says open. But you're going to install it. You're also going to go to the website that is linked in the description. You're going to download that software and restart your computer. After you've done that, you know, you can pause the video. Or if you're watching it on your phone, just pause it on your phone and come back to this. If not, you can just watch it straight through. It's super simple how to set up to get it ready. And then once you've uh, restarted your PC, we'll move on to the next section. So what you do is you download the software, you download the software on your phone. It's going to give you a Wi-Fi port, which I have blocked because I don't trust any of you. It's got another port, which I also have blocked because I don't trust any of you. And then a, uh, a port number, um, which is usually for repeating numbers. It may be the same for everybody. I'm not sure. I also have that blocked because I don't trust any of you. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take all that information. You can screenshot it or you can just keep your phone open doesn't really matter and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to OBS and sell that up which is what we're going to do right now okay so now we're here at the computer you're going to see a lot of me for a second be you know because we have to start some stuff up new and uh yeah there's some reception going on right now so what we're going to do is I'm going to start up a new scene I already have it set up so you should already know how to do that if not you click the plus button down here click add and you can name your scene I'm not going to add another one so you will not see me, but you will hear me for the remainder of the video. And we're going to set all this up completely like all in one go. So here we go. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to click add a source. Uh, you want to add your mic and all that stuff first. That way you can go ahead and get it out of the way. That's what I do. So what you're going to do to add your, uh, to do everything is you're going to have to go and download a software. Let me get it before I get ahead of myself. We have to download a software, which you can find down in the description below it is the droid cam, uh, OBS software. Ah, yes. One more thing. Uh, in your app store, make sure you type in droid cam OBS because there's a different droid cam that is, I don't understand why, but there's a different one. So this one is droid cam OBS and I'm going to set the link below that will take you to the droid cam OBS software. You don't have to do anything else. Um, all you're going to do is you're going to install the software and you're going to, at that point, um, get it all installed, restart your PC or a laptop, whatever you're using. Then you're going to want to come over here to OBS. And what you're going to do is you're going to add, oh, it should already be downloaded. So you see Droid Cam OBS right here. It should throw it in here. That's what mine did. When I downloaded the software and restarted my computer, it reads that it's an OBS software and it gets thrown in here. So we're going to click Droid Cam OBS. Now, you're going to see this right here. So what that's going to do is you're clicking it with use Wi-Fi video format. I don't know what any of this means, so I don't touch it resolution. I know that mine is 1920 by 1080 on this phone. So what we're going to do is you're going to type in your Wi-Fi IP that it shows on your app. When you open the app, it's going to give you your Wi-Fi IP. It's also going to give you the droid cam port. Now, if you do not have a microphone, and you have a decent phone some of the newer phones do have really good audio what we're going to do is we're going to click enable audio if you do not have a good microphone or a usb microphone or whatever and you that's your only option then enable the audio then from there you can add filters and all that stuff that's completely something i've done before um so you type in your wi-fi ip you got your droid cam port and then what you're going to do is you're going to click activate after you type yours in. So I'm going to have to see what mine is real quick. And voila, I am now on my screen and it is going very well. Now you will have to resize. I resize this. Um, well, it may not. Mine didn't automatically. I had to kind of, I had to move it. It was the right size. It was 1920 by 1080, but it wasn't in the, it didn't fit the screen basically. So that's basically it. And then from there, you can throw on your filters and, you know, contrast, brightness, gamma, blah, blah, blah. If none of that affects you and you like the way that your phone camera looks automatically, then don't touch it. You know, it's all a matter of opinion and how you look at things. So if you think that the way that it looks is perfect for you, then it's perfect for you. And that's it. That is all it takes to get your phone camera as a webcam in OBS. Like I said, there are other options. There are other programs. I do not like the quality of them compared to this. So if you have any more questions, please make sure to put them in the comments and I'll answer them as quick as I can, as best as I can. If you can also catch me on Twitch, link will also be in the description below. I stream usually on Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays, and then some random off days throughout the week. Um, and if you feel like you need to ask me a question there, you more than you I will answer it to the best of my ability as long as I know the answer to the question if I don't know the answer I will tell you who might so with all that being said I hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy your new streaming setup see ya